Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Racine here back from CNA Smalls again for another informative uh, video. This video right now deals got with a uh, uh, serious craftsman lawnmower here. This is a uh, 2011 model year. Uh, this guy had a problem, so he had multiple problems with the machine here. Uh, we got it all cleaned up for him right now. He needed a complete engine tune-up. He had too much oil in the crank on there. He was causing foaming issues with the uh, engine on there because of that. And uh, he also had a fuel system that was all clogged up. He had debris all through it. The car needed to be completely cleaned out, rebuilt. He had water in the tank, water in the carburetor. He had issues with the um, automatic choke system on here as well that needed to be fixed. Uh, the thermostat uh, arm wasn't working properly. He basically had about 10 different things that was completely wrong with the machine because the guy wasn't maintaining it. So after that, we got it all cleaned up, ready to go. And I'm going to show you how this thing starts up after it has been uh, thoroughly gone over and cleaned up so you can see how these things typically run whenever they're ready to go after all the repairs are complete on it. That's how they should sound if they're uh, running in great shape. Uh, this one has the uh, newer style engine, has the automatic choke on here that has the cheaper aluminum uh, thin carb rear. Uh, these newer uh, engines, I think it's 2010 and up, they have an auto choke uh, feature on them. Plus they have a redesigned uh, bowl and they have a deeper uh, style uh, bowl gasket, a rubber o-ring that has to fit up inside the bowl where if you buy the uh, aftermarket carb kits, they do not include the thicker bowl gasket. They don't include the older style one. It has a real thin uh, bowl overing on it for that as well, and they will not work in a specific application. So you got a newer machine like a 2010 up to 2013, which is now. Uh, be aware of that. If uh, your machine has an auto choke, it'll have the wind vane on top of the carburetor that's actuated by a spring and that's actuated by the other mechanism on the other side for the thermostat on the exhaust side and those can give you quite a bit of problems if you don't know what you're looking for exactly to figure out what the problem is on some of the machines. Uh, these machines in general do work okay so it's like completely automatic, there's no input, they don't have any throttle handle up here, you don't have to prime them or nothing else but uh, because they're automatic they tend to uh, run a little bit rich if they're um, starting up on, on a cold uh, cold start and they tend to muffle themselves. You can hear it, it starts muffling itself when it's starting to uh, start up on a cold until the thing heats up. But once it heats up, the thermostat on the exhaust side pushes the uh, wind vane forwards to the completely choked off position. So the uh, choke vane is straight up diameter of uh, the throttle. It's not closing the uh, intake side off. So It'll basically run a lot better once it does that. So that's basically a review of how these things had to have uh, been repaired after you know, multiple issues with them. If anybody has any questions, comments, whatnot, just uh, simply email me back here and give you a message and I'll call you back or just message you back if you have any questions pertaining to your machine. I'll see you guys.